My name is Everett Robeson, and I love the job that I do. I am a farmer. I work seven days a week a lot of times, and I love the things that I do, and I continue to do them. I'm going to continue to do them every day until I just can't go no more. When I go to work in the morning, I like to tell everybody, you know, I to see y'all this evening, I love you, and I head off to work. My wife, give her a hug and a kiss. When it happened, we were cleaning out a grain bin. And when we were in there, I was like, it got like a claustrophobic situation. And when I come out, they actually said, come sit down, because something don't look right with you. I heard one of the guys tell me that we're gonna call 911. A few minutes after that, I was laying on the ground. I remember riding to the hospital. I talked to the lady all the way there, what well, best I could. I woke up, I was in my bed already. My wife was there, my kids was there. I, I just didn't understand. I enjoy being taken care of by all the staff. Everybody there was so polite. It was like I was at home. They, they treated me with the utmost respect and it really made me feel good. It took me a while to get my strength back. Well, when I first got there, I couldn't even write my name. I couldn't pick up a spoon. My treatment at Southeast Hospital was amazing. If anyone really had any health problems, stroke, heart attack, anything, this would be the first place I would want to come to. Dr. Karshner, I met him in Southeast Missouri Hospital. And from, from, from the first day I met him, it was about me. Mr. Robeson, how you doing? Mr. Robeson, how you feel? How are things going here today? You know, every conversation that me and him had, it was about me. When I walked through the door at Health Point Rehab, I am greeted. I, I go talk to my speech therapist, and I enjoy the day. A lot of people wonder why they have been referred to speech therapy, especially if they have memory problems, because we treat memory problems, we treat thinking skill problems, word retrieval problems, and with Everett, that's what we worked on, was for him to be able to say what he wanted to say. He couldn't get words out, and now he has no problem with that. When I come in and I see my uh, hand therapist, we talk about the things that I need to do to strengthen my hand. Uh, Mr. Robeson um, came to me without um, uh, the ability to feed himself and to even hold his fork and spoon. Um, and after a few weeks of time of just working on hand skills and working on um, strengthening, he was able to start feeding himself. And gradually we progressed into much more complex tasks, uh, such as using screwdrivers and um, being not able to do something to being now able to pretty much care for himself on a daily basis and is just beginning to return to work. When I work on my legs and my muscles in my legs and my arms, everyone that I work with has something different, but both of them got a great, real, great, great burn with each other here. They talk amongst themselves as they're working with me. So it's not just one person that's doing one thing, it's not two people. All three of the ladies that I come see over here do the same thing. So with Everett, we have been working a lot on regaining the strength that he lost with his stroke. We've been working very hard at getting his walking ability back to where he was before. Um, we are trying to get him as safe and efficient so that he can go back to work, so he can go back to his daily life. I haven't threw a baseball in probably 20 years. So yes, this is really going to be an amazing deal for me. So it's going to be an amazing thing for me to throw the first pitch at a stroke awareness event. And I am looking forward to it. Mr. Robertson's prognosis is very good. He has returned to work with no restrictions and he has finished all therapy. Mr. Robertson's attitude, his age, uh, and his level of participation within patient rehabilitation therapies, PT, OT, and speech therapy, were very instrumental in uh, the large gains that he made while he was with us and the ones that he has made since he has left us. After my stroke, I'm really enjoying life. It's like I spend more time with my kids. It makes me feel like I'm on top of the world. I look forward to getting up. Every morning I get up, I look out the window, 
today we're going to have a good day.